What's going on guys? Troy at Mountain Man Treasure and today we're going to take a quick look at what's sold. Mountain Man. Mountain Man. Treasures. Welcome into the channel guys. My name is Troy. I'm a reseller in Montana. That means I go to garage sales, I go to estate sales, I go to thrift stores. I find things at one price, hopefully a low price, and I buy it and I sell it again online for profit. And the last little bit out of my eBay store, pretty good. I'm, I'm pretty happy with it, especially because yesterday I put my store on time away. I'm heading out of town for a couple of days, going to the 50 mile garage sale over in Western Montana. So I had to put the store on pause and generally that will impact your sales. Yesterday, things seem to go okay. We'll see how that sort of pans out the rest of the weekend, but at least heading into it on the downhill into the weekend, I feel pretty good. Let's take a look at what's sold. So nothing big here. We're certainly going to take them all. Dragon Ball Z, Boat Jack Unbound. A little DVD here. Paid a buck for it. Sold for $8.99 plus shipping. This one, real low dollar game. PlayStation 2, Fanta Vision. This selling for $9.49 free shipping. So just a couple bucks on that. We've got another Spice Village piece. Marjoram, $19.49 plus shipping. And then we've got another Scratch Magazine. These things seem to go out in bunches when they start selling. We got Lil John. This one sold for $9.98 plus shipping. A couple more that we're going to get out early today before we leave town. We've got a Funko Pop. This I picked up this last weekend. I bought two boxes of them for 50 bucks. Quite a few of them. Most of them, I started going through them and then thought, you know what? We're going to put most of these on Whatnot. And so we're actually going to have, coming next week, probably a Whatnot auction full of pretty cool Funko Pops. But I did list a few of them before that. I think like four of them. And then I thought, you know what? Now nah, we're going to move them out all on whatnot in one big Funko auction. But I listed a couple, this one of them, and it's going out the door. Hopper in his biohazard suit from Stranger Things. $16.24 plus shipping. Then we've got this guy, Spawn figure from McFarlane. This is Jason Wynn. And I took an offer of $28 plus shipping for him. We've got him and his stand and uh, file folder. It's actually got some little papers and stuff in there. Coolest sale actually came from the same place as the pop. I actually got some records sitting on a table. They were a dollar a piece and I got five or six of them and didn't realize until actually I went to grab them today. I thought, you know what? I'm going to list these. Didn't realize at the time, look at this, it's numbered. And so I dug into it number uh 1547 there were only 2000 of these released this was put out by hastings and they are well i'll put up the sold listing here they're translucent blue albums really really cool but only 2000 of these out there and i happen to pick one up for a dollar at a garage sale and it sold in about three or four hours i had interest right away a couple of watchers I enabled offers on it after I got some interest and immediately started getting an offer of uh, $85. I countered at $99, and he came back at $90. I said, let's meet in the middle at $95, and he took it. So $95 plus shipping for Incubus Morning View. A couple more here. We've got another one of our Spice Villages heading out. This one's Sage. They sent me an offer of 20. I counted it 22 plus shipping, and they took it. And then some viewer sales here. Our friends over at the Glass Housing got a trio of things here. We've got Christmas Winnie the Pooh plush. This one, $9.98. Free shipping. A couple more of those, I think, still in the store. We've got a little vintage Fisher Price Fireman. This one, $4.99 plus shipping, and then BB-8. This just listed the other day. I picked up some ornaments at a, a garage sale and listed them all the other day. Christmas sells all year round, and so Star Wars BB-8 headed out the door for $9.97 free shipping. So, guys, thank you so much. I sure appreciate that. We talked about those Funko Pops we got coming up in the Whatnot auction. I listed four of them. 
Well, now three of them have sold that I listed. We got Bobby Boucher, the water boy. This one going out for $18.52 plus shipping. And then Ryan, the vintage Viking. Love that name. Came in and picked up a trio of things here. Man, thank you so much. He said he just wanted to support the store and thank me for all the content and add to his collection. So I think you've got some cool taste here, my friend. You got Firefly, the complete series. I'm still bummed out that this thing lasted one season. It was fantastic. The movie's really good as well. So Firefly and then The Dark Half by Stephen King. Both of these going to Ryan for $25.98. And then he also got one of the pops. This is Dustin at Camp from Stranger Things. This one, $9.98 plus shipping. So, Ryan, thank you so much for that. I sure appreciate it. And just a pair to finish us out, we've got CCR, old cassette tape, Cosmos Factory, four seventy four dollars plus shipping. And then I accepted an offer on these guys last night. Vanity Booty Shorts, $7.00. Plus shipping on these. Happy with that. And yeah, of course, I'm happy with my abs. How about that? Three to two. And I will tell you, last night before the game started, they're warming up. Mountain Kid's sitting there. And uh, she looked at me and I said, you know what? I feel like this one's going to be a three to two kind of game. I said, maybe four to two with an empty netter, but still basically three to two. I, I think it's going to be a three to two game. And uh, she said she got a little bit salty with me there at the end because she said you know you're, you're like Vasilevsky that's, that's a Tampa Bay goalie he's one of the best in the world she goes it's kind of annoying watching him because I want to root for him he's so good she said it's the same with me apparently she said yeah I just want you to stop sometimes you're too good you can't be too good but I get it the kid doesn't want to admit that the old man knows what he's talking about three to two win for the abs three to one series lead Tampa Bay is still a great team. They can come back and win another one. I did say the Avs were going to win in six. We'll see how that turns out. But uh, very excited uh, that my team, for the first time in 21 years, is right on the edge of winning the Stanley Cup. And hopefully they take care of business while I'm on the road. I get to watch that, I, I guess, in the hotel and see how this thing turns out. And we'll see. I'm, I'm going to bring my laptop with me. I've got a lot of footage on there. And we'll see if I can't put together a garage sale video for you here in the next couple of days. Sort of depends on how everything goes together. But uh, if nothing else, I'll see you back here on Monday.